Juan Manuel Marquez retired seven years ago, and it's been reported that he's been in talks with Miguel Cota for an exhibition fight. Cota and Marquez have something in common. They both fought Mayweather and Pacquiao, who they both lost to, but in Marquez's last fight with Manny Pacquiao, he knocked him out cold, and it was scary cold. And since then, Marquez has been saying that Manny Pacquiao, and at that time, Bob Arum, was trying to get in the, back in the ring and they offered him $100 million. Now, Bob Arum went to World Boxing News to clear everything up. Bob Arum says, listen, we offered him $6 million, then we went up to $8 million. Marquez must have been talking about pesos. Whatever it was, Marquez rejected it. Now, this is 2021. I think the first fight, if it was presented to him and he had his choice, it would be Floyd Mayweather Jr. But how he got knocked out cold by Marquez. This fight presents itself, it's open. Manny Pacquiao will highly consider this because Manny Pacquiao is a warrior. He doesn't want to go out like that. He's a nice guy outside the ring, but in the ring, he wants to knock out Marquez like he did him. And this fight would generate money. People will watch a Manny Pacquiao Marquez fight. And a company like Triller would snatch it up. And Pacquiao and Marquez would make a lot of money and they would deserve it. Won't be the $100 million, but it would be a lot of money. Manny Pacquiao and his team will definitely be keeping an eye on the Marquez situation. Put it together, but that's what the best do. Like me, I have no, I have no, I have nothing bad to say about Canelo. Canelo is a legend in my eyes, but. And I feel like I could potentially be the one to beat Canelo. I feel like in my heart, I am the guy that's going to beat Canelo. What is everybody going to say now? No. David Benavides is funny. David Benavides says he'll be ready if Sanders cancels or gets injured within 24 hours to get in the ring and fight Canelo. At least we know Benavides plans to be in shape and he's taking his career seriously. Now, I'm, not, I'm cool with that. If something happens to Sanders and David Benavides, as a boxer fan, I love it. I just don't think the PBC and Al Heyman will let it happen or they would strongly advise Benavides not to take that fight. This article is on Boxing News 24. I'll leave it in the description box. But the person who wrote this article strongly thinks Canelo shouldn't worry about belts. He believes belts in this area doesn't mean anything. So basically, him and a lot of people are saying, well, you know, Canelo, screw the belts. Fight David Benavides. Yet, they call Plant and Saunders weak champions. But has David Benavides beat either one of those guys? And I like David Benavides, but he lost his belt to a cheeseburger. And they will say something like, well, if David Benavides got in the ring with Plant and Saunders, he would beat them. But he hasn't gotten the ring with them. So, that's just speculation. But the fact is, these weak champions, as we call them, have never been defeated. But I have to admit, I like Benavides' persistence. And if Canelo becomes undisputed and Benavides keeps winning, then Canelo's 2022 will be better than his 2021. Because who do we have? We have Benavides, Berlinga, Jamal Charlo, Better Bia. The only thing I worry about is I don't want to see Triple G anymore. I'm, I'm done with him. He's over the hill. It would just be a money grab for Canelo. Canelo should slaughter Triple G. If you had a dispute of the first two fights, I think the third fight, it won't be no dispute. Anyway, leave your thoughts or comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.